Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Big Slim Hope. And I got another video for y'all. Brothers, I need y'all to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell y'all. Because this shit is life saving. On some real shit, man. It's life saving. So I need y'all to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell y'all, right? And I made another video like this but it was shorter this is going to be a little longer version and i want y'all to really listen to me i listen i listen all right look before i even get started if you rock it with me make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up so the algorithm you know can distribute it and make sure you share it man make sure you share it if you click in the description below you can buy my book, Who Profits When Black Men Gang Bang. Right? You can also click the link to our documentary diamond, We Came to Heal, because we need healing as a people. And you can also become part of my channel membership. So, boom. About to get into it right now, right? Listen to me very carefully, brothers. We need to stop arguing with these women out here on some real shit. We need to stop arguing with these women. Because the only thing that's going to happen is we're going to end up going crazy. We're going to end up getting a brain aneurysm, <laughs> stroke. Y'all know it. Y'all know what you y'all know what we you see you seen the picture of Jaheim, right? When he put we we you know say talk about he said put the woman first. You seen the picture of Jaheim, right? You see how Jaheim look, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, look, brothers. Now on, on the real tip though, look. You know, there's a saying, right? You can't argue. They said, don't argue with fools, right? Because from a distance, y'all both look dumb. From a distance, you can't tell who the smart one is, right? When you argue with fools, y'all both look like. Because a smart person, you don't argue with a fool, right? So we have to, listen, these, these creatures don't care about facts. They don't care about scientific data. They don't care about proportion, probability, statistics. They don't care about nothing, bro. No type of research. You could present them with the research and the evidence and they will respond. Well, I feel like, bro, that right there should already tell you, you, you just don't give a fuck about what I just said. Like, you don't care, like, like what evidence I presented. How can you debate with somebody who just makes shit up out of how they feel? right if it's sunny today <laughs> they got one mood if it's rainy they got a different mood and depending on whatever mood it changes the facts <laughs> like in their mind right how can we sit here like i see a lot of debates a lot of podcasts a lot of stuff on the day-to-day -day basis and, and and don't get me wrong sometimes i fall victim to this sometimes it's just some of the shit you just can't make this shit up right sometimes i i, I catch myself trying to quote unquote help or explain certain things but then it's just like let me tell you something when somebody makes it clear that they have no clue what the hell they talking about you need to just withdraw you, you just need to withdraw right there's another saying that says if you think you always right you already wrong or if you always trying to be right in every conversation you already wrong you get what I'm saying but I see brothers, we constantly get into these things where it's like, yo, bro, we clearly come in for two separate views of things, right? Now, don't get me wrong. There's a small percentage of small sisters out there who get it, right? There's a small percentage of, of sisters who it might take you a little bit long, but once you explain it, you break it down, they kind of like come around and be like, yeah, I see what you're saying. They will accept the data. They will accept the research that you present to them. They'll be like, you're right. Most of them, they're not accepting shit, bro. Even if they say you right, which is hard for a lot of them to do, they say you right, but, and in the but, they will say a whole bunch of shit that negates them agreeing with you. So, like I said, I ain't, I ain't taking no shots at all the sisters. There, there's a small percentage of our sisters who get it, who understand, who we, we here, we out of eye, right? And if you got one of those sisters, man, God has blessed you. But there's a lot of sisters, man, who they just trying to argue. 
So you'll be dead right. You'll be dead right. Some of them might even know you right. But they'll be like, nah, they just can't let you have it. Because they like the chaos. They like to argue. They like to stir shit up. Even when shit is peaceful, they just they just got to stir shit up. If you're in a relationship or if y'all got something going on. They just, they just, they just got to do that shit, bro. They just got to do that shit. And that shit is annoying, right? That shit is annoying as hell. But I tell the brothers, like, stop trying to reason. You got to withdraw. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this for myself as a reminder. You got to withdraw. Let me tell you, there's a passage in the Quran, right? Um, there's a passage in the Quran in chapter 43, verse 18. And this is just a, a glimpse. This is a description how they describe women in the Quran, right? This is just one description. There's, there's many of other descriptions, right? But this is just one description that I want to highlight. And it says, a creature who is brought up in a dormant, meaning wearing silk, gold, and, and jewelry, because men are not allowed to wear, they're not supposed to wear jewelry in Islam, right? So it says, a creature who is brought up in a dormant, and who in dispute cannot make herself clear. This is in the Quran. Now, there's an explanation for it, and then it goes into other verses, but I'm not here to explain the whole. I just wanted to share that description, right? Who... A creature who in disputes cannot make themselves clear. Now, they could call me misogynist or whatever. I really don't care, right? Because we know they do that. And they say, if you hate women, just say that. If you don't like women, if you're gay, just say that. Just to try to silence us, right, and shut us up. But listen to this. How many of you have had a dispute, an argument, a debate, right, with these sisters and they don't make themselves clear, bro. They don't make themselves... They think they breaking some shit down. Like, immaculate. <laughs> Alright? But they... they, Bro, you notice that the only people who understand them is other is other dumb women like them? And again, I'm not saying all oh, women are dumb. But there, there, there's, there's a pack of these dumb wolves out there. <laughs> these dumb tyrants. Right? Because they, they wrong and strong. But you notice how it'll be like a whole bunch of cheerleaders, like booty clapping for each other, and they'll be agreeing with each other, and they'll be dead wrong about some shit. Like, they'll be dead wrong agreeing with each other, right? And it's like, they don't really make themselves clear, right? Because a lot of times, because your emotions sway, right? Your emotions sway. Especially for women, right? When, when when they're menstruating, when they're not menstruating, however the weather is, like they just they shit just fluctuates, right? So, excuse me. So they shit is just constantly fluctuating, and when you talk to some of them, they will constantly you you notice they will constantly say things like "I feel like," "I feel like," "I feel like," "I feel like." That shit is not rooted in facts. I feel like it's not rooted in facts. When, even when you ask them, where did you get this information from? They will be looking at you like, uh, podcast. <laughs> Yo, they will dead tell you they read some shit on a podcast. They read some shit on a meme. They read, like, like... <laughs> And then you'd be like, when you ask them, well, what's the research based on this? What's the stats on this? It's just like, oh, like, why is all we got to be about stats? Why? Like, what, so, what, so what are we supposed to be going with? But look, brother, the whole, the, the whole point of this video, man. See, you know, you know what's crazy? I'm slowly starting to understand why a lot of women were not allowed to speak back in the day. I know some people ain't gonna like this shit, but I'm starting to slowly understand why they was not allowed to speak, especially when it came to certain things, right? I'm starting to slowly understand that shit. This is why they ain't let y'all speak. Because y'all be saying some dumb shit. Not all of them. I, I shouldn't even have to keep saying that. But this, I, it, it all started to make sense now. You wasn't allowed to speak about certain shit because the men of old already knew, bro, they coming from their feelings. <laughs> they coming from a place... And especially back then, listen, back then there wasn't even there wasn't even going to school and getting education like that. So why should you be allowed to speak on certain matters? 
It's like today. Today, right, there's a lot of people who are who, who should not be talking about nothing. Right? They, they don't do no research. They don't read no books. Yo, ask, that's another thing. Stop debating people who don't read. Stop debating people who don't read, don't do no research. They don't look shit up. And we're not talking about just Googling some shit and, and taking what Wikipedia say all the time. People, it's people that don't do extensive research. Like, I, I posted the... the the, the, the thumbnail on, on my one of my videos that says 54% of Americans oh, excuse me read below a sixth grade reading level 54% 54% another thing that really irritates me that our sisters do they do this shit where it's like what, what I have experienced when I try to break down certain words and what they mean to them they would tell me, well, that's not what it means to me. Like, you can't make this shit up, homie. You can't make this shit up. When you try to bring up stats, they don't want to hear the stats. When you, when you try to bring up scientific research, they don't want to bring up research or data or studies that were conducted. You know, they don't want to hear that, right? It's all about how they feel. When you try to, when they try, when they use words out of context, you know, they love that narcissist word or gaslighting or, or manipulative and whatever other words they they, they, they be clanging on to. Because, you know, once people, once they learn a new word, they just hold on to it. And when you try to explain to them definitions and, and etymology, right? The root words of certain words. And, and, you know, so they could be able to express themselves better. And when you try to understand what they really mean. And you break down certain words to them. They be like, well, that's not what it mean to me. Like, and then it's just like, again, how can you get to a common ground with a person who disregards everything like that who disregard research disregards what the dictionary says words mean like how can you even have a conversation with people like that and this is what i'm trying to tell you it's pointless to get into an argument with some of these sisters it's pointless it's very very pointless but i'm not gonna try to convince them to listen i'm not trying to i'm like again most of my my viewers are men um a lot of like the people i'd rather talk to men than women honestly you know, um, because men could actually get somewhere. We could actually be like, you know what? You you were right, bro. I appreciate the jewels. You know what I'm saying? And we congratulate each other and go about our day. You know, but a sister is like, it's, it's too much work to try to make her drink the water, right? It's, it's too much and it's, it's pointless, right? It's pointless. But like I said, shout out to the sisters who get it. Shout out to the sisters who, who make this shit easy, man. <laughs> And if you got one of them sisters, congratulations to you, man, because it's hard to find sisters who get it, you know. But, yeah, let me know your experiences in the comment section, man, like some crazy, stupid-ass arguments, debates, uh, um, you know, scenarios where you just can't make this shit up, where you just try to show one of these sisters something, and then, they, you know, let me, let me hear some of the stupid shit that, that you done encountered, man. But let me know what y'all thoughts are. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, and you share. Stay blessed. Peace.